Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just two days ago, I posted a video that the Microsoft UEFI DBX security update KB5012170 was failing to install for some users and also generating an error code. Now, I'll leave a link in the description to that video, but just to do a quick recap, uh, this was the update, security update 5012170, which rolled out for both Windows 10 and 11 last week as part of the Patch Tuesday updates for this month, August 2022. Now, initially, Microsoft rolled out the update to address a secure, a security feature bypass vulnerability that existed in Secure Boot. But um, unfortunately for a lot of users, um, the update is actually causing more problems than it's actually trying to resolve. So once again, um, there are more reports now coming in uh, to the Microsoft support forums uh, that um, the update is once again causing issues, mainly this time um, to do with uh, boot up problems and issues where um, there are reports that for some users after installing 5012170 it's uh, triggering the BitLocker recovery and the BitLocker recovery mode. So that for a lot of users is quite a headache because um, you need a recovery key uh, to get past that BitLocker recovery screen and um, without that recovery key it means you can't get past the screen and that means you can't boot into your system which makes your system unbootable so you can understand that if you don't have instant access to that recovery key this could be causing a headache for a lot of users now over and above that issue um there are also reports that it's causing a slow boot up times it's also making changes to disk uh, configurations um like the firmware settings being changed from raid to ahci um, now, at this stage, um, uh, Microsoft, once again, is yet to confirm uh, the new issues with KB5012170. And at this stage, they're only acknowledging the issue um, where the update was failing to install. But um, and, at, and at this stage, there's no workaround for this new issue, records, uh, mainly causing that bit locker recovery mode um, to be triggered after installing the update. But if anything does change, and I do get any for any more info, I will post and let you guys know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.